This is a continuation of the GT5 Halcyon build. To follow along, head to elamscafeboutique.com. There you'll find a whole bunch of plan packs that include schematics, layout diagrams, and other high quality JPEGs. This video concerns the completion of the circuit build and also one or two little tricks that I found which were helpful. I needed a little bit of extra height with some of the turrets and I found that adding a whole turret with a 2mm bolt through it was an ideal solution. I thought that while I'm at it as I wasn't too happy with the aesthetics of a couple of the cathode bypass resistors that I'd upgrade those turrets as well. And this makes things a lot more straightforward to construct. There's no bending of any leads and it's a lot neater. I did the same thing for all those turrets that are associated with pot components. The extra turret height makes it that much easier to connect the component lead to the corresponding pot lug. Take extreme care not to get too close to your component with your soldering iron. The last thing we want is any ugly disfigurement. With the extra turret connected with the 2mm bolt, it's a fairly easy task to solder them together. And now it's time for perhaps the most enjoyable part of the build, and that is laying each component into its position and solder away. Sometimes things are going to be a bit tricky and you need a bit of intestinal fortitude. And just finishing off with some earth shielding cable. Now is a great opportunity to go through the amp and solder anything that has not yet been soldered.
the next thing to do is go through your circuit, make sure everything is in its correct place, grab your multimeter, check for continuity, recheck and then recheck again. And I've completed my build and everything went fairly smooth. There was a few hiccups, but in the end everything looks pretty good. Now it's time to test this amp out. So let's grab some tubes. Make sure that your tubes actually work. The number of times that I've finished a build, I've whacked in some tubes and nothing's happened. And I've found that I've got a bung tube. The next crucial thing to do before we do any testing is to label the amp. It's crucial that you know what each knob does. Don't skip this part. And now for a nice knob. And these ones have to be fairly thin. You need a thin knob because the pots are quite close together. Before you turn the amp on, make sure that all the knobs are turned right down to zero. Now it comes to turning on the amp. Now turn it on, stand back and then have a good listen for any crackles and have a look for any smoke and heat. At this point, you don't want anything to go bang or pop or fizzle or just let it relax and do its thing. If you do have problems and if something is not right, if you're getting loud hum or massive hiss or screaming or anything that's just not right, then you're going to have to go in and retrace your circuit and see what's going on. If it's all going pretty well at this point, now it's time to plug in the guitar. Now let's test out that tone stack. Thank you. 
conclusion, I'm absolutely ecstatic with that. The amp is sounding just as I wanted it to, and everything has gone smooth, and I hope you had the same experience as I did. Thanks for watching. See you next time.